Hello. Hey, hey. We had a little technical difficulty, y'all. We started the video and the it. video froze. Like I was frozen and we couldn't get my. Facebook was like, nah. Water and wine, <laughs> wine and water. Y'all ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Welcome. Come on, peeps. Let's get on here. Let's get busy. We got lots to do today. Yes. Lots to do today. And FYI, part of the reason, well, tonight, tonight's show cracks me up that I say tonight's, tonight's show. show. On tonight's show, <laughs> it is a show. Tonight's show. Hi, Tracy. Um, Hi, Eleanor. Is about some a healthy recipe. We're going to go in the garden and see what's going on in the garden. But um, also, wanted to share with y'all, so, oh, Ricky and I are... Um, doing some serious, serious um, health changes in our diet so that we can both lose some weight um, because we have a wedding in very soon. Five, five weeks. Five weeks. We're right. five weeks. Yeah. So, Gracie girl, quick little thing I wanted to share share with you that I did to cut my, um, my little calories. I'm not supposed to have wine on this health kit. I can have vodka because there's no calories. Yeah. That's always the But I'm not trick. really a vodka drinker. Y'all know how much I love wine. And so what I did was I took a little rosé and splashed it in tonic water. So, so you're still getting that taste without yeah. all of the... Because yeah. you really do. Unlike how I used to be and maybe some others... She doesn't just down this for down and sake, <laughs> like I did. It's actually for flavor and mm. pairing with things. So yeah. she, you know, really does miss, want the taste I'm, of I it. Miss my wine, man. And that's a great way I can share that with some of. Uh, yeah. So I tonic watered it down. Now you can't, of course, do that with a red. Or I can't even yeah. imagine what that no. would taste like. But right now, Maybe. last week. I had a little wine on Wednesday night, and then I didn't the rest of the week. Last night, we had um, wine club. Yes. So, at wine club, I did taste the wines. I tasted them. And then tonight, so that I can have a glass, I just poured actually about half and half. I did about half tonic water and about half rosé. But you can do it with any of your white wines. And it's actually pretty refreshing. It's just like a spritzer. Yeah. I was going to say like yeah. a little spritzer. Or something. <clears throat> so... Anyway, okay, we are cooking healthy tonight, and um, this is something that I legitimately just made up, okay? <laughs> she did. She was like, what's this called? And I said, oh. I don't know, call it what you want to. Yeah. So Jennifer's she, special. No. <laughs> so, and the reason I, this is what the inspiration was for um, making this up. So, every Sunday, um, a lot of y'all know, we get together with our entire family and we eat I love it. lunch or dinner, one or the other, with my sister and her family and my mom. And then, about once a month, it's my brother's families and everybody. But, every Sunday, it's me and Stacy and the kids and mom. So, she, Stacy, it was Stacy's week. She was going to cook and she offered to cook spaghetti. And, I didn't want to, like be that person. I totally did not want to be that person. So, I just got to thinking, what can I fix for me and Ricky that's, that will make Ricky and I feel like we're not missing out on right. the spaghetti, and yet, it wouldn't bother her, you know. Right. So, it's spaghetti like squash your is what I came up with, and then I made a filling, because I was thinking about, you know, I mean, a bolognese sauce, or what you would typically have in spaghetti. So, Anyway, so I'm calling this, what'd you call it? Chicken, chicken spaghetti, spaghetti squash. squash. Chicken, chicken spaghetti, spaghetti squash. squash. Say it three times fast. <laughs> chicken spaghetti squash. Chicken spaghetti squash. Yes. And listen, so, the reason she is doing this with, she's not, she's limiting carbs, which is why, no so no carbs, which is why the no spaghetti noodles. Yeah. And no red meat, no which red is meat. why she's done this chicken. Do we mm -hmm. want to show them? Yes. The okay. No red meat, no gluten, no dairy, except for just a few little dairy things and um, no fruit. 
We're really cutting Lots back on veggies. the sugars yeah. and stuff. Getting rid of the Lots carbs and sugars. Stuff that turns into sugar. So, <clears throat> I'm going to do, like I do this sometimes for y'all, I do this backwards. Um, I want to show you, I went ahead and roasted one of the spaghetti squatches because I want you to be able to see, after it's roasted, what happens. How much you get. I mean, this is, and it literally, it's like a little bit teeny tiny. It's like noodles. It's like noodles. It's wonderful. So, um, that's what it looks like. And then this is what I put on top of it. And so I'm gonna go through the process with you, but I wanted you to see what this looks like after only like eight minutes in the oven. It's so super simple and it's so good. It is so good, It's so good. So um, I'm just gonna fill this and pop it back in the oven for just a few more minutes. But, um, and then I'm gonna show you how to do the spaghetti squash, how simple, simple, simple and easy it is. Um, <clears throat> And then we'll go through the filling, okay? So, that can go in the oven. And then this, so the spaghetti squash looks just like a cantaloupe, okay? So, um, you pick it up in the grocery store. This actually is a pretty small one. Um, last week, I was able to buy one that was almost twice this big. Um, and actually, it was too big for me and Ricky to have a half. We both were dying that was so much. But if you're feeding a crowd or more than just two of you, um, you'll want to get a couple of these. So the other thing is, like I put that topping on these, but you totally can just scrape the spaghetti out of mm -hmm. it, put it in a bowl, and then serve the stuff on top of it, okay? You don't have to do this, but this makes it pretty convenient and cute. Very so cute. You treat it, you cut it exactly like a cantaloupe, okay? So I cut it down the center with the stem and everything. Then I took a spoon and hauled it out just into the trash. Just get, Got the, the, seeds. Seed, just get the seeds out, okay? I'm gonna do that. And then, <clears throat> then all we're gonna do is olive oil and season it. And then we're gonna throw it in at 425, okay? So this is what I did, okay? Olive oil literally just like splash 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 salt italian seasoning and then turn it over okay so i turned it over and do the exact same thing drizzle 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 and then salt and Italian seasoning. I've never thought that about doing that side. All you have to do, literally, okay? So, <clears throat> you're gonna put this in at 425 and bake it at 425, roast it for right at eight to 10 minutes. It depends on how big the squash is, okay? So that's going in the oven. Now we're gonna make the filling really quickly, okay? So, um, the filling, Starts with you want to have two small skillets, um, or you can do, you can use one and you can do your chicken first, take it out of the skillet, and then do your vegetable skillet. But um, I want to share a great product with you guys that is so wonderful you won't care that it's healthy. Okay, that's right. It doesn't matter that it's healthy; it's a great product, and you're gonna love it. So this is Mighty Spark. I buy this at Berkshire's. I don't know if any of the other local grocery stores have it or not, but I've seen it. and we're not being I, we're not being paid for this promotion. I just no. love the product, okay? But Mighty Spark uh, hashtag Bruschetta All Natural Chicken. If you'd like to sponsor us, we'll make more food with you your know, stuff because there's other types. So this is a Bruschetta chicken. It's a ground chicken, okay? So and it's made with premium cuts of all natural chicken, and it's seasoned with tomatoes, basil, and garlic. And then here's the great thing about this company that I love. Every package purchased means it equals a donated meal to a family. So, love that. you're not only buying something wonderful and healthy, you are supporting um, feeding more people, okay? Yes. So, always um, important. It's like buying Tom's shoes or, yes. you know. What's some of the other ones that do that? Um, that evaluate or elevate that yeah I the bag yes from. they do that i have these cute little earrings on i'll have to put they give back to communities 
I'm all about that, guys. I love if you that can stuff. find, yeah, something that gives even just a portion, every little bit helps. Yeah. Makes you feel good. And even though it's just a little bit more expensive, maybe it it's worth it. Doesn't if it'll really be matter. somebody else. I'll pay that a little bit of extra for sure. It doesn't really matter. So I'm just putting this in a skillet with a little bit of olive oil so that it doesn't stick too bad. And then we're going to, um, all we're gonna do is let that brown, just like you would, um, just like you would ground beef, okay? I'm just gonna brown it, that's it, on the, sto on the stove top. So I'm gonna turn that on, um, medium to high. Then I'm going to show you all the veggies that we're going to saute to make this super, super wonderful, okay? So in this skillet, I've got olive oil going. And um, I already went ahead and chopped up my... Um, so what I did was a half of a red onion. Half a red onion. My head is... Um, I'm trying to get... Like, <laughs> yeah, your head's gone? My head's gone! She's a talking body. Um... And let me say that this recipe that I'm making um, makes actually enough filling for um, easily four spaghetti squashes. Um, or here's the other thing. My husband walked in earlier and was taking bites of the filling and he doesn't even need a spaghetti squash because the filling is so good. So he'll probably pack some of this and eat it for lunch tomorrow. So, um, okay, so I've got half of a red bell pepper, half of a red onion, and a little bit of um, olive oil. The next thing that's going to make this really hearty and yummy for those that are trying to watch what they're eating is mushrooms, but whole. Don't buy the sliced mushrooms. Let's buy them whole because the stems, when you cut them correctly, so I'm going to cut the top of this mushroom this direction, then I'm going to cut it this direction, into little chunkies, little chunkies. And then I'm gonna take that stem and we're gonna put that stem in there and we're just gonna slice right down that stem and put those big chunks. Oh. And literally, y'all, it tastes and makes your mouth feel like it's meat. It, I, honestly, when I yeah. was trying it, okay, so I don't, sorry about this kind of womper jaw thing, but I don't eat um, mushrooms typically because I'm a kid of the 80s and the D.A.R.E. program scared me to a point of me thinking that maybe somebody tried to make some mushrooms magic, so I've never had them until tonight. Yeah. And I ate a bite, y'all, and it was slap your mama good. Okay? Yeah. Like, for real. Really, really, really good. You want to turn that on? Yes. So, um, I just went across the top of the mm -hmm. um, mushrooms. High. You can go high. Okay. And then I'm taking the stems, going right down, getting some good chunky slices, and then across the top of the mushroom like this, turn it. So, you're getting these chunkies, okay? That's going to make your mouth and your tummy feel like um, it's a lot more meat. Because mushrooms um, tend to get, it's the same kind of texture, you know? Yes. So, um, I mean, not that there's not enough meat in here, because there is, but it just makes it really, really filling. A little bit more hearty. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're half an onion, half a bell pepper. Um, that was four to five mushrooms, depending on how big they are. And then in the rest of what I made up today... <laughs> Uh, what I told Lisa to write down was eight to ten cherry tomatoes sliced in half. Okay, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I already pulled ten. So um, I'm going to slice those just kind of a diagonal down the center. And then I'm going to throw those in there. Okay, so now we're at four veggies. Those go to the side. <clears throat> And we only have a couple more ingredients. So at this point, that that is the stage that I want you to put the vegetables in and let them saute, okay? Then um, I'm gonna add a um, couple teaspoons of minced garlic, because that's always gonna make everything better, mm -hmm. okay? Um, that's it for, oh. So then I'm gonna salt it and I'm gonna, going to Italian season it 
because you know we're making this is our marinara this is our bolognese sauce yeah. okay and I'm gonna uh, throw some garlic pepper in there because uh, I like a lot of garlic I like a lot of garlic so that's gonna saute and you're literally I mean there's no butter typically I would have used butter but I put just a little bit of olive oil in there okay so um, you don't add too much fat <clears throat> enough to coat the bottom and of the pan. And the mushrooms create some water um, to moisten it, and the tomatoes will create juices that will moisten this, okay? Once this is sauteed for a few minutes, um, you want it to start wilting and to those mushrooms to start um, sauteing enough to where they're not, certainly not hard. Not crunchy and you want your tomatoes blistered in a perfect world I would um, actually in a perfect world what you're gonna do is you are going to saute your bell peppers and your onions and your mushrooms first okay you're gonna let that saute for about five minutes then you're gonna add your tomatoes and your garlic because you don't want your garlic to burn and your tomatoes get too soft. <clears throat> and your yeah your tomatoes get too soft I'll learn something and then the last thing you want to put in, like after this is already sauteed, for a good five to six minutes at least, okay? See, this is creating plenty of um, juice in the, in the bottom of the pan. Then um, this is something that while we are, I hate to use the word dieting, so I don't feel like we're dieting, but we are, but... Um, <clears throat> I don't like the word diet because it makes people think restriction. And this yeah. is just we're choosing just to eat a healthier diet instead of diet of either. Because this is very, very on the hearty and that. yummy. Yeah. So, I mean, you can totally make this without it being. So, what I have here is one of our salads that we have at Bay is called a market salad. And um, we, I introduced this a couple months ago because I love it. It is kale, spinach, and cabbage. Kale, spinach, and cabbage. Oh. Chopped. Like Chopped that. up. Okay. So, um, I just brought a big tub of this home for us to eat um, as a salad base because we can have all of these things. And um, But you literally can use whatever you have. Just use spinach. Just use a little bit of kale. Just use a little bit of cabbage. It doesn't... Just I literally agree. just, yeah, I made, I just used it because it's what I have, you know, because yes. here we are, I was making this up. So, um, so that's a good, that's a good hefty Y'all should smell this stuff. That's a good hefty cup, okay? So and then, it's a cup pre-cooked. Pre-cooked, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah, it yeah. will cook mm -hmm. down to, like we talked about a couple of weeks ago, the spinach. Yes. Yeah, all of those leafy greens. Um, they disintegrate when you saute them. And so, but they're so, so, so good for you. And so they're fabulous to have no matter what kind of eating program you're doing. They are. And any way that you can get greens into your diet, guys. And it's not like, literally when you get all of this done, it's not like you can even, you can't even really taste them. But it, it's, it's really there. good for you. Yeah. So, um, this looks like Christmas. On a it plate. does. This looks like Christmas on a plate. That's what we um, call it. There you go. Christmas on a what plate. What is this? This is Christmas on a plate. Yeah. So, um, and then she's got the chicken almost done, and we just literally Her dump mom. it in with this. And then the last thing I did, <clears throat> one of the two. Should I get the others out? Dairies. Yes, please get the others out. One of the, not the squash, but the uh, yeah, the ones that are already done. Yeah, totally. Um, one of the two little dairy things that we can have is, well, one is Greek yogurt and the other is, um, ricotta cheese, but in very small amounts. So when I was thinking through trying to make this Italian dish for us to eat with our family so that we didn't feel left out is I threw in, um, like a tablespoon and a half of ricotta cheese into this sauteed vegetables after it's done, you know, simply as a binder, and it gives you a little flavor, okay? 
So, here we are, and you literally, I'm gonna turn this off. Just go ahead and turn your vegetables off when you um, add in that ricotta. Oh my oh, goodness. It's so good, y'all. So, it just makes it a little creamy, you know? Gives you a little something. It, yes. Just two tablespoons at the most is really all you need. And then throw your chicken in there, Lisa. All right. And that is it. And then you're going to fold it in. Fold it. We're going to fold We're it. We're going to fold it in. Ganelle. You fold it. Ganelle, are you there? Are you folding with us? See, that's how you fold. Y'all, I cannot tell you. Seriously, there literally is no one that I know that's not on a diet that would not eat this. <clears throat> and um, and like I said, I don't like calling it a diet. It's just eating a little healthier. Yeah. So um, here's our end result. So good. Isn't it beautiful? So um, now I will say that you know for those two i already stuffed the two and i have this much left so um and that was just a pound of meat one pound wow one pound of meat is all it was because you have so much other stuff yes. and the mushrooms and the whole you know almost it really does tomatoes. make a difference yeah and the fact that i didn't know mm -mm. Like, she I was, saw scared, put she the was kind in. of scared to taste it but then she was like holy crap yeah really it good. was so good yeah. So it kind of makes me want to try the the big ones that you see people eating. What are they called? The oh, huge portobello. Yeah, a portobello mushroom. Then people they're like, so good. We do. We eat them serve like a those. Steak. We do. Well, and we serve them as our vegetarian option mm -hmm. for when we're doing caterings. Yeah. We do. A, we can do a vegan one that is um, quinoa and spinach and tomatoes and garlic and pepper um, and onions, mm -hmm. and we just stuff the quinoa in there with all those veggies and it it's so that hearty and yummy good. yeah I like if they're not vegan we put cheese in it if they're just vegetarian mm -hmm. we put cheese in it and then top it with some beautiful big shards of um parmesan well guess what yeah. i'm having yeah it's Real so soon. good so so mushrooms. good um <clears throat> okay so basically let me check the ones that are in the oven see how roasted they are we have a guest star so gonna walk through we have a get the Rick, man. Ricky's walking through. The myth. I could smell it. The legend. We're not Ricky quite Taylor. done. I'm going to put it up on the top shelf. He's hiding. So how many minutes is that? What are we? 554. God, it happened so fast. Know, we still awesome. have to go to the garden. We are going to go to the garden. Okay. Um, so we put, let's talk about this. We yes. put those squash in. They've been in now for... A good eight, 15 to 18 minutes. Dang. That's, I know. That's really, it doesn't. I know. So they probably need to roast more like 20 to 25 minutes because they look like, I mean, they're soft and they're good, but I like them to get a little, you know, browned and mm -hmm. crispy and on And really be able to get all yes. the airs. Absolutely. So, and you, listen, do not eat the skins of spaghetti squash. It's yucky. You don't want to. Yeah. You're just eating the innards. So you're gonna flip them over, you're gonna fork them, get all that spaghetti out of there, and either just stuff your stuff on top or put it in a pretty bowl, put your spaghetti in first, and then put this on top and serve it, okay? Mm. Here's the thing, if you're not dieting, I, if I wasn't dieting and could do um, cheeses and stuff, I would top it it's with some the, yummy I'm parmesan. <laughs> I would put cheese on it, I so would. And when she um, reintroduces cheese. Yeah. She'll be putting some on. That's what I'll do. It's just we don't have to have <clears throat> two cups of cheese on every one. Right. <laughs> it's like maybe a cup. Right, exactly. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. And it may be awkward, but y'all are just going to follow us because we're going to show you what we're doing in the garden. Yes. So Lisa is literally going to take, Camera, man. take the phone off of the thing. I'm adding this to my resume, guys. And Everybody get ready. she's just going to follow me out to the garden. We're going to talk about what's in the garden. Yes, quick, we are. Okay. Maybe. Here we go. Oh. 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 I did it. It says okay. not to rotate your phone. Oh, it says not to rotate the phone. Yeah, that's can. okay. Can we not? Okay. Let me see. It does it. There we go. Oh. No. Yep. Yeah, no. 
You we can't, can't rotate can't your phone. can't rotate while we're recording. Okay. It's 2021, Facebook. You'd think you'd have that feature fixed. Okay. Look at the beautiful I'm here. farm, guys. I'm right here. Oh, it's such a glorious day out here. Okay, so, y'all, I'm so super excited. Um, when we moved in, my boys made um, garden boxes for me so that I could have a garden out here and be outside because here's the deal. You know, a lot of people say to me when they hear me sing or whatever, they're like, well, I'm going to get to sing when I'm in heaven. Well, That'll be me. when I get to heaven... I'm, of course I'm going to sing, but I think God's going to let me be in the garden all the time. Okay. I'm just going to plant I pray and that harvest for you. and put pretty flowers on tables. That's a sermon. And <laughs> That's a sermon. And have my, Leah. um, have my, my hands in dirt all the time. Okay. And Ricky's so, going to be fishing. We, um, my sweet, sweet sister-in-law, brother-in-law, they came up the last two weekends and they've been helping us build these garden boxes so that, that because my old garden boxes got a little sad they they'd had it but more importantly we built them up really tall so that my back would not die okay so so and then this is the other thing we've added and we're gonna do two more look so we're going to um i'm planting over here I'm planting a uh, squash and it's going to, that way it can grow up this side. And then over here, we're planting cantaloupe so it can grow up this side. Okay. It's going to be beautiful. Oh my gosh. I can't wait. I'm so excited. So, um, I don't know how many of y'all have a garden and, um, and do things outside. Me. But, um, so um, I put cantaloupe in here with tomatoes because they're gonna be they're gonna need the same kind of um, care, yes, sun, things like yes, that. Yes, they go together well. Okay, and then in this box, um, I've always had herbs. I've always done a separate squash and cucumber box, but I wanted to try. Um, this is gonna be new for me this year. Is trying uh, this squash on this end of my herbs. So because we do use a lot of herbs. And so, um, for our chicken salad and some stuff at work. When we say it comes from Jennifer's garden, yeah. we are not playing. So, it um, comes from the garden. But, I don't know about y'all, but, you know, I lost everything. I even lost all my rosemary in the snowmageddon. So, um, so we had to go get new rosemary. Everything had to start from scratch. So, um, we've got our rosemary. Right now, we have mint and parsley and thyme going in. And then down here, the um, cucumbers. So, and then those two boxes will get done next uh, weekend. I'm so excited. What's going to go in those? And um, that oh. will be peppers and bell peppers and all of my lettuces and spinach and stuff that we clip and use. So, and we're actually, um, we're actually planting the same things at bay at the lake outside in our planters so that we'll have peppers tomatoes oh, and herbs fun. there to use in the kitchen so awesome um yeah so a couple people were asking me questions about all of this all we did literally this this right here ricky wasn't this just one sheet you just went and yeah, bought 16 a foot. sheet 16 foot sheet four by 16 yeah, yeah four by 16 i envisioned it going inside the planter but it was a little too wide but it worked out perfect. So even with, you know, that's stuff great. Hanging, I know. I didn't so realize it was that tall. It's going to be, yeah, it's going to be totally fine. Just put, we just put it on the ground in between the two. And that way the stuff in the boxes can grow straight onto it and grow over it. I love that. Super simple. So it was just, we got two sheets and we're going to have two um, things that go over our heads for vegetables to grow on. It's be so, so fun. I know. We're Pictures. so excited. What time is it? Do we have to go? We better we go. Have to go. You haven't drank your water at all. I know. I do breakfast. have water somewhere. <laughs> okay, guys. Yeah, it's six. Oh, we're barely six oh one. We did good. We did good today. Yay! So, um, thanks so much for joining us. Yes. Uh, we took a picture of ingredients, and we Lisa already made a graphic with the ingredients for what we did tonight, Excellent. and we're gonna post it. So, um, sure. everybody enjoy and try just this week to do just a few things more healthy because that's what we're trying to do. Yeah. So. All right. Thank Cheers. You. Drink Cheers. Your, tonic, your tonic and wine. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.